All right, so for this last video, we're going to create these two views right here. So this is just showing the divided surface, and this is just showing the original mass. So to do that, if I go back to Revit, really all you're going to want to do is, I'm just going to use this view that I created, which is this component view here in 3D Views, and I'm going to right-click on that, and I'm going to duplicate that view. And I'm going to rename it. I'm going to name it Divided Surface. Okay. And so now I'm just going to change my visibility property. So I'm going to go to VV, and I'm going to scroll down to Mass, and I'm going to expand that. And I'm going to turn on the grid lines and hit Apply, and you'll see those grid lines apply, um, appear. And then <clears throat> I don't want the component there. I just want to see that particular piece without the, the divisions, without the component. And the component is a generic model. So if we get rid of the generic model here and hit Apply, you will be able to see that. Okay. And then if I scroll down, let's get rid of the form. And now all I have is the divided surface. Now, I would like those grid lines to be not aqua because they don't show up very well in print. I would like them to be black. So I'll just go to the grid lines and the projection line override, and I'll change those to black. And click OK, click OK, apply, and you'll see those turn black. So now I've got that view. I'm going to turn on my show crop region, and I'll go ahead and place that on my sheet. So if I come down to my composition sheet, I can come up to my divided surface, and I can drag that out and place it. That's a little too big, so I'm going to come over here and change the scale because it's a parallel view to 16th of an inch, and that's about how big I want it. And then I'm just going to get rid of the viewport by going to viewport gray no title. And again, if you want to get rid of the crop region, you can double click and come down here and turn it off. Tell it to hide. Double click out of it. Okay. So for the next one, I'm going to create the form below it. So if I come to my divided surface, I can right click on that, duplicate view, duplicate, rename it, and I'll rename this form and enter. And now um, what I want to do is I want to be able to see that form. So I'm going to go to VV and I'm going to turn off the divided surface under mass. So we'll get rid of the grid lines. We'll turn the form back on. Okay. So we have that. Now it's kind of a, what's happened is it's gotten rid of that top surface because we divided it. So to actually get that top surface back and be able to see it, we actually have to go back to the family. So if I pick this guy and I go to Edit Family, it'll bring the family forward. And what you want to do is you want to pick the divided surface, and you want to go to Surface Representation. And you want to tell it to show the original surface. And click OK. And now load that into the project that you had open. And over at the existing version, and give it a minute to reload all those components. And you'll see that form will come back. And now you can go into your visibility graphics, scroll down, and you can turn, go to mass, expand that mass, and if you go to the form, or actually let's go to the patterns here on the mass, and let's override the surface pattern. And I'm just going to make it purple. Click OK, click OK. And it didn't change because I forgot to change the pattern to a solid. So if I come here and do solid and click OK and hit apply, you'll get a color there. So again, you can check your crop region. It should be the same. And this one should be pretty easy to place. You can just scroll down. 
to your composition sheet, scroll back up to where your form is and drag it on the sheet. Whoops, sorry about that. Drag it on the sheet and it'll place it. And if I go to no title, now you've got your form. Okay. Now this is a rendering, um, so you guys know how to do a rendering and place it on there. Um, so I think that's about it. Now you can see that the form has come back on the center one. So if I double click on that and go to VB, I can scroll down to my mass and get rid of the form and click OK and now that's gone again. So when I reloaded it, it brought that form back in. So you just need to turn it off. Okay, so I think that's about it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know.